<laughs> okay, so um, we'll do five minutes to talk about uh, Chrome OS and um, why I'm so passionate about it. So I'll try to walk you through quite quickly where we're standing with Chrome, Chrome OS, and then Chromebooks. Um, my name is Doug Green, and I'm working for Google and Chrome OS um, as a developer relationship. Where we are now with Chrome, Chrome got more than two million, 200 million installations, and um, you could get it on uh, mobile devices, on tablets, on desktop, and on TVs, on Google TV. Basically, what's Chrome OS? It's Chrome, but with the hardware around it. And uh, it's built from the ground up for people that are spending the vast majority of their time on the web. So Android is built to be the best operation, mo oh, the best mobile operation system. And with Chrome, we're trying to target those users that are just spending all their time on the web. It's built on the three pillars that Chrome itself is built upon, which is the three S's. Um, the security is built from bottom to up with sandbox model and um, encryption by default and other good things. Um, simplicity, you all know the only box, we don't have too many uh, options, there aren't toolbars, very simple, intuitive user interface. And the speed, of course, with V8 and uh, improvement that are being made um, every six weeks to the browser itself, making it the fastest for now. So the main goal is just to try and convince you to use Chromebook. And for the ones that don't have uh, the opportunity to go to Amazon and buy it, um, it's built like with Chrome or Chrome Premium. So you could uh, definitely download it and install it on an old uh, laptop that you have. Um, I actually have a blog post about it and I'll share it afterwards. Um, it's a new tool, a new hardware device that built on the great features that we have today in HTML5. And uh, there's so many features, I just try to uh, encapsulate some of the most impressive ones that we have today. So from WebGL, they're giving you real 3D in the browser to peer-to-peer -peer API that lets you do uh, very interesting things. Knuckle, which lets you run your C++ code in the browser. Um, IndexedDB and uh, AppCache and local index and uh, WebSQL and other mechanisms that let you uh, be productive and save data on the client side and many, many more. If we look at the original uh, OS that we all know and uh, love, um, there are so many layers in them um, until we finally reach to the top, which are the apps that we want to use basically immediately. With Chrome OS, we just took a really thin layer of Linux and put Chrome on it. And you immediately get lots of benefit from doing it. So it's a pure case of less is more in that way. Um, it's always connected, so you're buying it here with Amazon, you're getting Verizon uh, 100 meg per month um, free, you can obviously upgrade it. It's actually booting from sleeping mode to be totally um, available once you log in and you could be productive in less than 8 seconds. And you have lots of apps that make you really productive today. Um, the battery is actually holding more than eight hours, so you could really work a full day with it. It's unlike other devices, that the battery just drains quite quickly. And uh, the fact that you always connect it, always uh, giving you a uh, very good, good productivity, not to mention that you have more and more web apps today that are just using all the features that I mentioned before to give you an offline uh, capabilities, even when you don't have connection or when you have uh, flaky connections. So, for businesses and specifically for education, and that's the main reason that I'm so passionate about it, I have a good feeling, a hunch, that it's going to change a lot of things because for students and um, um, any educational institute, it just uh, seems the perfect device. It's cheap, it's got a great keyboard. As in a, consuming, a producing content device, it's great. For consuming, I guess tablets are uh, better. So um, one of the main features that are very compelling to those institutes either education or uh, enterprise, it's, it's, it's very easy um, to manage them. It's a web-based console like in Google Apps for your domain. You could manage everything, you could pre-install stuff, you could uh, revoke things, you could uh, prohibit certain apps, and um, you're getting lots of benefits from uh, the six weeks period that the software is updating, not to mention that every three years uh, the hardware is updating. So you're always uh, keeping it fresh. Um, that's I did specifically for Joe, uh, get the Steve Jobs moment, but it's quite true with that uh, uh, new piece. Um, it's actually improving over time. So if you know um, other laptops and operation system, after a year, two years, you need to just reinstall them or get a new one. With this one, um, every six weeks it's getting improved automatically, if you want it or not. But, um, <laughs> but every three years, uh, Google will upgrade the hardware as well. So it's quite compelling to those institutes. Um, thank you.